In this video, we're going to be watching two former top flight teams play what I think is their first match against each other in a non-league setting. This is a place that the regular viewers are going to recognise, Kelty Hearts. One of my, if not my favourite club in Scotland, always been so good to me. And I've yet to see a game here this season, but it's fantastic to actually come. Look, it is getting dark right now. The clock's changed the other night. Why am I starting my video here? Look, it's all shut off. We're not actually seeing a game here today. Well, Kelty Hearts are one of just a handful of teams who have been promoted into the SPFL, um, the top four Scottish leagues in recent years. And there's been a few clubs who have dropped down because of teams like Kelty Hearts. Cowden Beef are local rivals to Kelty Hearts. They're literally a few miles down the road and they have a very similar name stadium this is new central park as you can see just over here new central park but cowden beef who we're going to be seeing today play at central park yeah today it's albion rovers away to cowden beef in the lowland league which i think is the first time they've ever played each other in a non-league competition especially in the last like at least 100 years. Both of them combined have had hundreds of years of league football with a good few years of top tier football as well. But let me firstly tell you about Cowden Beef and why they're a massive club. In 1905, they were admitted to Division 2 in the Scottish Football League. They've won Division 2 in 1914 and 1915, but weren't promoted on both occasions. I think even if you won the second tier back in the day, like you still had to like bid and apply to get promoted so it wasn't like a, a, a done thing and they finished runners up in 23 20 in the 23 24 season and the club were promoted to the division one to the first division division one for the first time in their history the club remained in division one until being relegated at the end of the 33 34 season so they were there for about 10 years um, and they claimed their third division two championship in 1939 they have won a big game against rangers in the 1949 league cup a little bit like Albion Rovers who we saw recently they've had a big win against Rangers in the Scottish Cup semi-final uh, way back in the day as well so they've achieved a lot um, but yeah Cowden Beef they've won three second tiers they've won one third tier and one fourth tier so they've won all three of the SPFL leagues below the Premiership um, but but it was obviously before it was SPFL they'd won it as like first division second division third division um, but yeah look at this 1924 this is when they finished second in the second tier to get promoted to the top tier for the first time that as you can see look at who they were above they were above albion rovers who they're playing today they were above stenhouse muir who are a league two team currently they were above dunfermline who are a good championship team at the moment they're above dundee united who we saw play in europe just a few seasons ago then i want to show you this this is the 1930 to 31 season they finished just 19 points shy of champions rangers who won the scottish league that year as look they almost finished in a European spot in today's money just seventh place just a few points behind like the likes of Motherwell who came third um, but yeah like you say um, could have been like a European spot if that was nowadays and they'd have had a couple of better results here and there um, but they're well above the likes of St Mirren Hibs Kilmarnock Dundee who are all current premiership teams and I also want to show you this league table as we wrap up the little history section here um, as recent as 2013 just 10 years ago they were in the second tier and they finished above Dunfermline and Airdrie who currently are both in the championship. They were just below Dumbarton, Rafe Rovers, Hamilton, Livingston, Falkirk, Greenwick, Morton and Partick Thistle. But now they play in the Lowland League. <laughs> Obviously, Cowden Beef probably have the greatest nickname in world football, the Blue Brazil. I suppose not many things in Fife you could like link to Brazil except from Cowden Beef. Look at that, what a cool flag and then the name Cowden Beef FC. But yeah, their nickname is the Blue Brazil. How cool is that? My name's Colin Nelson, I'm the Football Operations Coordinator for the club. Uh, I've been here a hell of a long time, uh, but mainly as a fan, so I've been here watching since I was seven years old. Okay. And then kind of came into the club um, when we were in League Two, doing kitman duties and stuff like that, and then kind of slowly but surely... Done a bit of everything. Done a bit of everything for the club and, and tried to help them out wherever I can. And how have things changed for the club, especially in the last two years, going from League Two to the Lowland League? Yeah, listen, it's been a it's been a difficult period for the club over the last two years, and obviously the adjustment to, to life in the Lowland League. Um, I think that the, the the first season, as in last season, was was difficult due to the kind of turnaround of players and the mentality of not being a league club anymore. And then obviously this year we've we've done better. There's been a lot of progress on and off the pitch. 
and uh, yeah, we're, we're happy with how, how things are going, but look, always looking to improve. Obviously, the pyramid system's fairly new in Scotland in terms of like being able to get relegated and promoted to and from sure. the SPFL. We've not seen a team come back hmm. who's been relegated before from Berwick, yourselves, obviously, Stalin Albion Rovers, yeah. who you're playing tonight, uh, East Lancashire, like you said, yeah. Breakin as well. Breakin as well, yeah. Up in the Highland League, what is it going to take from a club that goes down to come back? <laughs> do you reckon? Money. I mean, I mean, I know it's an easy, mm -hmm. an easy answer. But I think, listen, the thing about the clubs that we've just mentioned there, Berwick, you selling ourselves, you know, we we don't have the the kind of funding slash resources that perhaps some of the up and coming clubs do, who maybe have a couple of good benefactors, probably larger crowds, um, and certain other things mm -hmm. going for them. But what we're trying to achieve here at the club is is to to kind of slowly but surely build a squad that's capable of challenging yep. the top end of the league. I think we've got an excellent young manager who's ambitious and, and hungry to succeed and we need to build a squad that uh, epitomises our manager as well. Um, our fan base has been terrific. It's, you know, Last year and especially this year they've really got behind the boys and the club. And In a way is it slightly more exciting for the fans to play teams I they wouldn't so. necessarily I play against? So. I mean, if, I, if I took myself out of the, kinda, the club position that I'm in I would be excited to go away to, to certain teams and, and have a day out and go on the train and, mm -hmm. and you know and, and rather than and playing the, the same grounds. teams over and over yeah like I mean I, I do I do enjoy that side of things and you obviously only play everybody twice once away so yeah the you know it's, it's a more unique experience for the fans and I think they do enjoy it I know that they enjoyed going to Gretna and they enjoy going to you know other clubs that, that we go and we've been really well received from other clubs as well so and then can I just ask you one final question then about the two teams tonight between you I think you've got hundreds of years of yeah, league Football experience. I think this is your first meeting in. Yeah, the, the long league. So yeah, it's taking a while to get there and play them. But yeah, what do yeah, you make listen, of the matchup between two clubs then? Listen, Albion Rovers have always been one of these clubs that we've actually struggled against really? over the years, uh, especially at Clifton Hill. We've always struggled, but uh, the last time we went there, we actually won one 0 Funnily enough, but even when we had proper good teams, you know, the Greg Stewart era, we always tended to struggle. Um, like there are, I would say, a similar club in terms of fan base. Um, you know, our two grounds probably get ridiculed more than any other. I Scottish love them, football. A bit of character, both of them. Uh, yeah. They've got character, both yeah. of them. But at the same time, listen, I think um, Albion have done done well considering they've, they've dropped out of the league and they've got some really talented players, mm -hmm. to be fair. Yeah, everyone will know who watches my videos regularly how much I love these older grounds and stuff, right? And tonight is Halloween, and look at that, it looks like a proper full moon, and look, it's just like peeking beyond the clouds behind the, the stand of this old ground. Home of Calden Beef, now Lowland League, playing against Albion Rovers, former SPFL clubs, former top tier clubs then, look at that. A recognisable face from my Albion Rovers video a couple of weeks ago, it's Calden Beef versus Albion Rovers today, which is a fixture you should be kind of used to from yeah. the SPFL years. But is this the first time you've ever played each other in a non-league competition? I would think so, I'm not totally up to date on this today. But I suppose this is a, your first time playing Cowden Beef since you've been relegated yeah. to the Lowland League? Yeah. What do you make of the ground? I like Albion Rovers, I, I like the older classic grounds, like it's not modern, it's not got a 3G pitch or 4G pitch, but it's got a bit of character yeah, about it. Yeah, it's got a bit of character, especially with the big kind of tyre tracks around the ground, yeah. it's unique. Love it, and um, are you confident you can get anything from today? Yeah. If we play like we have done in recent weeks, we should at least be able to get a result. I'm Patrick from Liverpool. And I'm Will from Sussex. But do you live up here? Yes. You both I live, live in Dunfermline. And yourself? You're I local as well? Beef. So what brings two other Englishmen up to live in the north I've, of the border? I followed Carden Beef for a long, long time from a distance back home. Right, okay. My from wife lives here. Okay. From the 80s, 90s, so I followed him. Why Carden Beef then? It's just, I come up to watch him in the 80s. With, me, with me mate from Glasgow. Okay. Yeah. When I was working there and then just 
fell in love with the club. Well, another Liverpool connection here, I'm sure you're aware of it. Steven Gerrard, one of his first Rangers games as manager was here, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Which you couldn't Steven, imagine Stevie G here Stevie today, G, could you? Yeah, yeah. And um, what do you think of what's happened to Cowden Beef in the last few years? They've gone from being a league club to now, obviously, a non league club. It hurts. Does it, it does yeah. hurt. I think because, like, now you've got new management in place, it, they're playing a lot, lot better okay. football. You know, with the new managers, young. Looking, looking for I now. feel like last season was a bit of a shock to the system. First non-league it season was, for was, years and, and years. And like the players were not, just didn't seem interested. And it's similar to Albion Rovers today. Between the two teams, there's over 200 years of league yes. football. League, yeah. Well, maybe 250 years. years. This, and then now, obviously, this is a hard, hard. League. Ten years ago, you're in the championship as well. And then now, obviously, it's Lowland League. This but is a hard, that hard. Even league. More. <laughs> yeah, sorry to bring it up. Can it's you not, see a world in where either of these clubs get promoted again? To. It's tough because this league is so hard. You look at it. Even Kilbride. to win it, you've got to have playoffs to go up. Yeah. And there's teams coming up that are good Team, as well. Teams have got yeah. money. East Kilbride, they've got the money. Yeah. And mm-hmm. as Englishmen, all three of us, I find it mad how league champions don't just go up no, as they do right. in it's England. Crazy this system. Now it's a weird old stadium. You have to kind of come out of the ground to even get a pie and stuff. I didn't get a pie today. I've had so many of them. I'm not going off pies. I only had Scotch pies anyway. Sorry, Cowden Beef. I just got a coffee and a Twix. Um, but what I'm going to do is you kind of have to come out of the stadium to even go round to the other stand as well. Um, it's owned by a stock car racing organisation who have like stock car racing at. Um, at this ground and I think it gets more people here than the football does but yeah just look at this coffee and hand clocks have gone back it's a cold old night but at least it's not raining but yeah look here we go here's the stock car racing if you want to come and watch some stock cars then you can but then look you can see there's fans all around there all around here as well but what a ground one of the most unique in the UK But what do you make of um, Central Park? Love it. It's one of the best. Absolutely it? love it. This, Queen of the South, just love it. Even Albion Rovers? Oh, I was at Albion Rovers when we played them in the uh, Who Cares Cup. Like oh, that. yeah, in the League Aye. Cup, yeah. That was my grandson's first away game. Up, up, right out. Shoot, oh. Get here! Oh, you yeah, greedy wee shite. Oh, Clifton Hill. What do you think? One one of the weeks. Right, Albion Rovers fans, I've done it again. I've come to one of your games and it's been really drab. I don't know how much I'd have even shown you there in that first half, but there was barely any clear-cut chances. There was a few long shots that almost went in, but... I mean, the football on show today has been pretty poor from the two former league clubs. I know there's a few former league clubs in this uh, in this division now, your East Sterling Shears, your Berwicks and stuff, but this is two that have been league clubs really recently. These are two of the most... Recently relegated, yeah, because Cowden Beef got relegated last year and Albion Rovers this year. Um, so, yeah, their first non league meeting. It's been drab so far. Let's hope the second half can improve a little bit, but sometimes it's less about the game for me as it's whipped in. It just goes by him for a goal kick. Sometimes it's less about the game, just chatting to like these Rovers fans here. I'm not sure if they want to be on the video. I did ask them, and there's a Dunfermline fan around me as well. And actually, look, here is the Lowland League. Look, Albion Rovers 15th. They're not having a great time. Vic Cowden Beef are 10th. Um, Berwick Rangers, former league club. East Stirlingshire, former league club. Um, but yeah, look, Cowden Beef. Obviously, we saw them earlier when I showed you the, at the start of the video. They were in the top tier. Obviously, just five places below Celtic or whatever in that great season when they finished seventh. Celtic was second. So yeah, about five places below, I think, Celtic. They're now one, two, three, four places above Celtic B in the Lowland League. How football changes over time. That's 90 minutes, you'll never get back. 
That's like the other Albion Rovers game went to as well. Yeah. No. That's like the other Rovers you're game ne- went you're to. You're coming on our game at the Cup now. I'm never going to see him again after these two games. Because you keep telling you they're good and you're seeing draws. I don't know about that. I'm going to tune in, Sam, just to make sure how you can make this interesting. Wish me luck with the editing. Nice to meet you. You too. Good luck with the rest of the season. I don't like to be negative on my videos. I only like to spread positive vibes, which is why um, I'll always tell you to come and visit clubs, regardless of what the experience is like. The stadiums that I visit can often be a little bit rugged in places, um, but I would always recommend you come in to visit places like this because they're completely unique wherever you go um, in a lot of ways, especially this stadium. Look at it. I mean, I've, I've shown you it today and the stock car racing tracks and all stuff like that. It's crazy, but that is genuinely the worst game of football I think I've ever seen. Last time I watched Albion Rovers, awful, absolutely awful, the game of football itself. The experience, amazing. The stadium, the people, the club, brilliant. The football was terrible. And today it was terrible as well. Both sides never looked like they were going to score. And it's almost fitting in a way for this video where I'm telling you they both used to be top tier. They've both won many of the leagues. I think they both won uh, all three divisions below the Premiership in the top four divisions. I can't remember now off the top of my head if Rovers did or not. I have to go back and watch that Rovers video. Um, they've both competed in big competitions. They've both finished just a few places behind Celtic and Rangers when they were both top tier, but I mean, that kind of sums up where they both are as clubs. Really, really drab performance today. Not much quality on the pitch. Some terrible final product, passing, crosses, shots, that kind of stuff. Just went astray today. And um, again, I don't know how much of the video is going to be match footage just because of actually how poor the game was. And I don't want to go on about it. I really like the Lowland League. I like a lot, I like a lot of the clubs in it. Um, I love Scottish lower league football. Um, it's a huge passion of, my, of mine, obviously. Um, but sometimes you go through spells of seeing some pretty drab games. And uh, unfortunately, that's kind of one of the spells I'm in right now. I remember last season I went on a run of not having a nil-nil for... I think almost the whole season until we got to like one of the last games of the season. I'm sure that happened. Um, at the moment, I'm in like the opposite of that where I've just had stinker after stinker. And there's been a few good games. I'm, I'm being a bit harsh, but um, yeah, especially the last two Rovers games have been really poor. Um, but interesting stories anyway. These clubs that are sort of going through transition from trying to be league clubs to like going into non-league. It must be hard for them, for the fans for the people working there and stuff but yeah hope you've enjoyed this one look at this place how is this a football stadium look at that, the full moon up there all these little banks and then obviously the the cages to stop the stock cars flying into the audiences but yeah what a cool experience hope you've enjoyed it um i'll leave my albion rovers video on screen if you haven't seen that please do click on it um absolute cracking video really cool club terrible game a little bit like this but an interesting story thank you so much and goodbye